Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Barbara Gale. Happy New Moon in Pisces. This is my moon. I'm a Pisces. I'll be celebrating my birthday this week, so yay, shout out to all of my early degree February born Pisces brothers and sisters, and to anyone who resonates with the beauty of the Pisces moon. I'd like to do a little ritual for us and drum and journey with you into this Piscean time. I have a little bit of black salt that I brought back from the New Mexico desert last spring for protection. Put some around you too. Can you see it catching the sunlight? I can. And I'll light some pinion pine that I also brought back from the New Mexico desert. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is for release and rebirth. Pisces, the end of the zodiac, right? Call into spirit and for our souls to gather all that we've learned in this very full cycle. And lastly, some pinion, no, that was pinion, Palo Santo, sorry, Palo Santo, not from the New Mexico desert. And more challenging to light in the breeze. So, what are we calling in? What seeds are we planting and calling in? Ooh, that smells so sweet. As we release, what do we call in? What intentions? Let's let the drum speak for us, shall we? strong on this morning of the Pisces new moon. We are also experiencing, along with this retreat time, a renewal, a re-establishing upon review. What are we returning to? What are we turning to return to? Let's enter some dream time, shall we? Pisces and Neptune are really happy to dream and vision. you to move your body to the rhythms of my drum 
for this rhythm and renewal moon temple or to sit with me or water your garden you may close your eyes or gaze upon a candle or a body of water that there is a ball of light right before us. Let's give that ball of light a color of your choice. And let that ball of light in that beautiful illumined color grow to a size it's not overwhelming, but big enough to step into. It's so inviting and the portal opens, welcoming us. Stepping into this ball of light. We begin to rise up. We're ready to lighten the density of this earth plane a little bit so that we can feel into the dream state and find inspiration. So I invite you to surrender, trust the process, and have faith that you will find what you need and be returned home soon. up, we go through a bit of darkness, and then more light, and then more darkness, and then light again. And then we go through a bit of mud that lives way up there. Yeah, isn't that funny? But the earth and the water are are so strong right there in the heavens that they're creating a little bit of just beautiful fertile muddiness and we just have to ooze our way through it's not too yucky it just makes us laugh a little bit and then on the other side it's really really light yellow and turquoise, pale pastel colored clouds all around us. Beautiful light. And we call in our muses. The muse of inspiration. The muse of music. Art, dance, song, poetry, writing, healing, and simply the muse of being, of breathing. We feel the presence of this muse begin to expand. Invites us to envision and dream during this time of retreat and going within. It's a very feminine energy, very flowing. to release in order to be able to recreate and create. So let's
let's review and take inventory of anything in recent past that was left behind undone. As we turn around to look in our wake, like a boat that's been moving forward on the water, those waves left behind are called the wake. So as we awaken to our wake, what's there that was a little unfinished? Any personal practices that you may have begun in the recent past and then had to be put down for whatever reason? Maybe that's a simple step that we can, maybe there's a simple step that we can take to move forward, to reclaim that practice. Maybe it's just as simple as adding lemon to your water. Or picking up your drum each day. A breathing or meditation practice. A walk in nature. To hear the birds. reconnect to spirit and earth. So instead of returning to old habits, routines, instead of picking up the nicotine, the alcohol, the THC, the food, the attention, Instead, we tune into our hearts, and the muses are here to help us find that intuition so that we can listen more deeply to what we need for our self-care. Or is it work-related that was left undone, the website that needs a little tweaking? the 2019 bookkeeping. Sorry if that triggers you. That's definitely a trigger for me. It's all right. It'll be done in perfect time. Maybe it's something that we simply needed to fix or repair or clean. Whether mundane or important or a piece of inspiration, a creation to pick up again. Let's invite the energies to assist us in pulling these things gently into our daily flow. Remember, we always have a choice. What do we choose? when we feel tired or overwhelmed. Take a breath, exhale, tune into the body, listen to the sounds around you. And then we know what to do. Thank you, muses. Thank you for being here and expanding our awareness and our abilities to listen and feel deeply and know how to take small steps that are right for us. us to reconnect to spirit and source, higher self, one
one minute at a time, one day at a time. And now we return to step into the bright, beautiful light. Has the color remained the same or has it changed? floats down from those pink and yellow and pale blue clouds, simply sails across the mud of earth and water. Through a bit of lightness and darkness, Lightness and dark, floating down effortlessly with ease. Floating down through the branches of the trees. Floating down to rest lightly on the earth. front of a body of water. What is the shape of water? Water without its container, whether it be a glass, a bowl, or land. shape of just amorphousness and fluidity and going everywhere. Let's create a container around this water that you have landed beside, whether it's the ocean or a lake, a river or a stream, a pool. Together, let's plant some new moon wishes, seeds of intention. What messages? deeply to hear their voices once more. The seeds that we plant today are being planted in water. The cool, refreshing, cleansing, renewing 
water. And this water carries the seed. The seed floats. It floats down the stream. It floats across the pool. Down river. Where it meets the ocean. Yamaya se su. Se su yamaya. Yamaya olodo. Olodo yamaya. It's the song of the reunion of Oshun, goddess of fresh waters and her sister, mother, queen, Yamaya, goddess of the seas and mother of all waters. Because you see, the seeds that we plant today will be reborn. They'll sprout and root and grow flower and fruit in another time we're entering a really beautiful cycle and this cycle takes time so we plant the seeds of patience desire beauty love to shine like the sun also in Pisces to reflect and be reborn like the new moon in Pisces to carefully lovingly forgivingly Oh, so forgivingly. Refresh and reawaken those responsibilities, perhaps, and practices and routines that were let go of for a little while. Okay, I'll be at my Thursday night yoga class again. I Promise. Promise is unkept. You know, as we dream and awaken ourselves into our new being, our new becoming, we forgive ourselves and we fill ourselves with love. We can dream up what's next for us. What is your greatest dream? Even if it's slightly delusional or feels as such, there are times for realism and there are times for fantasy. What can we about what what fantastical thing can we become who can we become in a most fantastical way give that person that person some space right now to feel about that how does that Person feel to, to be? What does it feel like to be that person? Can you embody a little bit of that feeling right now? And set
send that feeling along in the air to those seeds that have been carried downstream. I'd like that feeling, please. And then remain unattached to the exact outcome. Just remember the feeling. That's what we want. Remember, the seeds we give to the water today float away and find an edge to land, sprout, and take root in the future. Releasing expectation of how the outcome will look will wash your spirit clean. It's about embodying the feeling you have as you imagine that dream as reality. In time, I believe those moments of illusion and delusion, that wonderful feeling of what we are to become and are becoming, we'll have glimpses of those again through this cycle. And how do we know? Because we give ourselves the time and space to allow the deeper voices and the higher voices to be listened to. The voices of nature, the sound of your breath, the pulse of your heart. Let those become your music for a moment. Take a breath. Feel the love. Wash your spirit clean. Find the inspiration. and then take a step. So, from where you are seated, beside this body of water, I invite you to take some of the water, drink it, l'chaim, to your health. wash yourself with it. Take some of that water in your hand and just anoint yourself. Connect to your heart, your body, the earth and the water. And we thank the elements for their guidance during this time. And we return to this space and time. And you can gently open your eyes and welcome back. Watch me form in the element of love. The beauty of my nature. A current born to escape thereof and never to 
return there. Ardent transfer of life through my hands. To yours. I close my eyes and see the light. Explore. Explore. Thank you. I wish you all the best as time spirals through this next cycle and may you find your peace, your love, your joy, and your muse each day. See you next time. Please give me a like. Please subscribe. That really helps the channel. Did you know that about these YouTube videos? For all of us on YouTube, when you like and when you subscribe and when you comment and when you share, it really helps to elevate us all. Till next time, be well. Bye. Thank you for your help, sweetheart. I love you. Thank you, I will.